What's up, everybody? It's your boy DDS618, and I got the chance to play Star Wars Outlaws for about four hours recently. I am honored to get a chance to play it ahead of its release date, and a huge thanks to Ubisoft for this opportunity. For those of you that have no idea what Star Wars Outlaws is, it's a game from Ubisoft, and it's the first ever open world Star Wars game. It's set between the events of The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. In this game, you will play as an outlaw named Kay. She is an outlaw with a Murkwall companion named Nitz. I'm not sure if that's how you say Murkwall, but that's how I'm going to say it. So for you Star Wars fanatics, feel free to let me know if I'm right in the comments. Now, I'm not a huge Star Wars fan, so you may see things within this video that do stand out a little bit more to you than it did to me. I do enjoy the Star Wars movies, but I'm not one of the super fans that know every single detail, every single character and things like that. I just watch the movies and enjoy them. At the beginning of my playthrough, I apparently crash landed somewhere and I need help to get my ship back together. This set the tone of me being the outlaw and doing odd jobs to get parts to fix the ship. Whilst reversing the land, you have to be careful, as other bandits can and will attack you as you travel. You also have to be careful to not run into the animals, as you can definitely get knocked off. and die. During my playthrough, I got to experience the gunplay of Outlaw, and it's not very hard to get the hang of. Kay does have an adrenaline meter that allows her to use an ability to lock onto enemies and take them out immediately. While I was playing, I think it was about three that I could lock on and take out immediately. And it's not very clear if you can upgrade this in the future. However, I did love the fact that it was added into the game and it can definitely give you a strategic advantage. Not only can Kay use her adrenaline to take out enemies, she can also use her valuable companion Nitz to attack an enemy, gather items, get that vent open. See what they've got. or distract an enemy. Next, it's showtime. Huh? Hey, get that thing. <laughs> this can be an invaluable tool when trying to be stealthy, or you can end up pressing the wrong button and getting caught. One thing I really enjoyed about this game is the music. The music kept putting a smile on my face as it reminded me of the music from the Star Wars game. I can't 100% say that the music is from the movies, but I can say that they definitely stir up that nostalgic feeling when you hear the music play throughout the game. Some kick. 
Another aspect of the game I enjoyed is the environment. Ubisoft is known for its enthralling environment as seen from the Assassin's Creed game. Star Wars Outlaws is no different. The environment seems alive with plenty of people and creatures and the open world environment is very detailed with plenty of nature and trees and random encounters and of course side missions. The open world, however, is not without dangers. Not only can you be attacked by bandits, but you can also apparently fall off the map. Good job, DDS. The game, however, does not forget that you're an outlaw. Your actions do affect your alignment with several syndicates. You can end up being on good terms with one syndicate and an enemy to another. This also comes into play when you're in the open world. If you're on bad terms, the syndicate will quickly turn their guns on you and start firing. This means you either have to find a way around certain areas or shoot your way through them. We lost them, Nick. Again? Since my playthrough was limited, I did not get a chance to go guns a blazing in the enemy territories. However, I was able to go guns a blazing in missions. Sometimes this worked out very well. And other times, not so much. This looks bad. Most missions seemingly can be done stealthily without killing a single person. However, I suck at stealth. So I ended up fighting and shooting quite a bit, which allowed me to get a good feel of the gunplay within the game. The gunplay is not bad, but it's also not perfect. It definitely makes me feel like an outlaw that has not had proper training, or I just absolutely suck at shooting since I'm a Koji creator these days. Either way, the gunplay doesn't take long to get used to. Overall, Star Wars Outlaws reminds me a lot of Assassin's Creed in a way, which isn't a bad thing. The thriving open world makes it feel like you can have action at nearly any time. So you're always on your toes. The many ways you can complete missions. Loud. Get him, Nick. Oh, what'd we get into, buddy? Stealthy. Or a Mr. Oh, Boat. Drop the cargo ramp. Let us in. Us? Who's us? Oh, us. Oh, us. Ramp. Something's wrong. It's jammed. Oh. Fix it. Really allows for you, the gamer, to play your way. The syndicate system is a breath of fresh air, as you will always be at odds with someone, and you'll eventually be at odds with the syndicate you like. They're headed our way. And one last thing. You can pet some of the creatures. Oh, look at you. 
Come on, Nix, be nice. I'm very excited to see how the final version of Star Wars Outlaws changes from the version I played. I look forward to getting deeper into the gameplay mechanics in the future, including seeing more of the equipment we can use in the game. Do we get to change ships or do we have to keep the one that we have? What upgrades we can add to the ship and so, so much more. Thank you again, Ubisoft, for allowing me to play this game early. I really do appreciate you. For those of you that want to play Star Wars Outlaws, you don't have to wait too much longer. Star Wars Outlaws drop August 30th, 2024. So make sure if you enjoy seeing the content that you saw today, make sure one, you go on and pre-order the game. The pre-order links will be below. Two, you're going to smack the subscribe button and hit the like button. And three, let me know what you're excited about. What did you enjoy from the video? What, what, what aspect of the game are you most excited to play? So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Y'all be easy and have a great one.